Hello and uh, welcome to my video on the cask of Amontillado. Uh, basically I have just been doing some research and I am here to share my findings. So to begin I will be stating my thesis for this project and my thesis is that Gothic literature is a genre which relies on a multitude of aspects to be considered Gothic. These aspects are often mysterious and foreboding. Al Edgar Allan Poe's The Cask of Amontillado plays on such factors to be considered a piece of Gothic literature. The most abundant source of those Gothic qualities comes from the most forebo foreboding aspect, the setting. Elements of death, darkness, and isolation all amalgamate together within the catacombs of Poe's story to make this setting gothic. So to begin we have isolation as a factor of gothic literature within the cask of Amontillado and here Marvin Fellheim is alluding to a quote from the cask of course that I have put up on screen and uh, he states that by reading this quote the story now becomes Montresor's enactment of an elaborate ritual. And at first, this more so alludes to death and spirituality within the Gothic elements. However, isolation only goes further to amplify these two elements. And we can see this in the context of which the events are occurring. As Montresor takes Fortunato to, to the catacombs, and by successfully doing so, he isolates Fortunato. And with this isolation, he is able to enact this performance of immolation that Fellheim emphasizes within his analysis of the cask of Amontillado. Another more obvious factor of Gothic elements in the Cask of Amontillado is death. And this is evident in Poe describing the catacombs as having been lined with human remains, piled to the vault overhead. And Kate, also, Kate Stewart also emphasizes this in her saying that because of their association with murder and death, the bones also contribute to Gothicism in this tale which is basically just elaborating upon the obvious that bones just equal death. And you can't get any simpler than that. So lastly we have darkness as an element of gothic literature within the cask. And here James Keish comes to state that the catacombs in Pose the Cask of Amontillado are the essence of gothic fear seeing as they are dark, damp, dripping, niter everywhere, and they are filled with skeletons, and air so foul that torches glow instead of burn. And this uh, statement just is kind of doing my job for me, as it is directly stating that um, there is darkness within the Cask of Amontillado. And there is also quite a similarity between the statement that the air is so foul that torches glow and Poe's own uh, description of the foulness of the air just causing the flambeaux to glow rather than flame uh, it is just makes it quite self-evident that there is darkness within the Casco of Montiato. And so, in conclusion, there is just a myriad of elements that make a work of literature a piece of gothic literature. And what makes the Cask of Amontillado a gothic piece is the masterful execution of death, darkness, and isolation within its setting. And that just about concludes my analysis of the Cask of Amontillado. I very much hope that uh, it was intuitive 
enough and that you enjoyed watching. Thank you for listening. <laughs>